Hello everyone, this is Peter from GoodEReader.com and we're going to show you guys the new Silk update on the Amazon Kindle Fire line of tablets. We have here an Amazon Kindle Fire HD 7 inch and we have Silk open on our website GoodEReader.com. We're just going to show you guys basically the newest feature which is reading view. You can see this bar up top with a little pair of reading glasses. That's the newest feature. First off we'll just show you that this is the standard view. You also have all the same functionality, share page, add bookmark, find in page, which is basically pressing control F and going through the page for text and finding whatever you've typed in, and request another view, which is like uh, desktop, mobile, or automatic, which is obviously the recommended setting. So based on what website you go to, if they have a mobile version, they might bring it up based on the size of your screen as well. So we'll just move up and down here for a little bit. So you can see we have things that have to do with teachers, classrooms, course smart, and a bunch of other things here. So why I'm showing you this is because I'm going to go into reading view in a second and we'll see each of these articles in more of an ebook-esque formatted look. So right now you can see we're on the full page and this is just basically the web version, the full desktop version. We're going to click reading view now. And what this does is basically what it's doing is reflowing everything to articles. And this is very similar to things that uh, Press Reader does for their newspapers. You can go into article mode or you can go into page, page view mode. So you can see here that we have turned that article of ours into almost like an ebook. And everything's justified to the left here, as you can see. So. Um, pictures still exist, links are still there, but it gets rid of all the things you don't need to see. Gets rid of, um, you know, side banners and visuals and slideshows that really may slow your tablet down if it's not used to it. So, um, and with Amazon Kindle Fires, they have everything from the Kindle Fire all the way to the HD line. So, um, sometimes based on the website you're on, maybe the slower Kindles might not be able to keep up. This is why they did that, because this allows it to be a much more comfortable read. You still get images and texts and um, links and all that. And anytime you want out, you just press the X, and you're back there to the full version. And you can see the difference. So this has been a very brief look at the new Silk update for the Amazon Kindle Fire tablet line. and. The um, reason we're showing you this is because a lot of people are saying, hey, I heard there's a new update for Silk. Should I update? Should I not? Um, it's not like you're doing homebrew on a um, console where you, may, you might not want to upgrade the version number or anything. It's always safe to do an update on the stock browsing experience from a tablet because basically they're just doing it to cater to your reading enjoyment like reading view is so um, yeah worry not it's a safe update it's a great update and you get uh, reading view out of it so um, nothing wrong with that so for more information go to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash good e-reader or you can go to our website at goodyreader.com and for more information you can always flip us an email and if you have any other uh, requests we will like this one we will try to fulfill them as um, well as we can and stay tuned to our YouTube channel to see those requests and you can always make a comment in the comment box below so for goody reader this is Peter with the Amazon Kindle Fire line of tablets silk web browser update